Hey, it's Oliver Sharp. Welcome to the Aspen Daily Update. Very special update for you today. We've come out to the Aspen Golf Course with two of my favorite dudes and Spencer McKnight. I've got Chris Lanner here from Cash Cash uh, and Home Team Barbecue. Didn't bring any wings or game changers for some reason. Uh, Dennis Scholl is with us as well. We're going to talk about food. We're going to talk about wine. We're going to talk about culture. We're going to play a little golf. That actually sounded pretty good. Day. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So Dennis, we're coming out of 18 months, almost two years of lockdown across the country due to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, you're really plugged in in uh, the world of art and artists. Uh, what have you been hearing from your friends and colleagues with regard to their output during this tough time? Are we going to see uh, a lot of people that are just coming out of the gates with a lot of stuff they've created or uh, the Renaissance going to come kind of farther down the road? You know, it hasn't been great. I've spoken to a lot of artists. I oversee an artist community in Miami and they've really struggled, not just with economics, but with the creative impulse. Uh, the pandemic kind of wore people down. I think the elections wore people down. There's just, there's a lot of uncertainty. And um, we are seeing now, finally, artists kind of begin to percolate up and really get back in their studios and dig in. But over that 15, 18 months, it really wasn't great for art and artists. I think what you're gonna see is it's gonna be the period of the individual artist coming up, figuring out a way to make things and put them in places that might not necessarily be the museum. Museums have struggled mightily during the pandemic and many of them are actually not gonna make it. So that's a pretty scary thing. So artists are gonna have to look to another venue to get their work seen. And that's where I think the excitement is, is the idea of uh, showing in a place that isn't traditionally uh, an institutional setting for culture. <laughs> I gotta stop losing balls. I could probably buy a house in Aspen if I stop losing Pro V1s. Oh, you gotta stop filming my shots. For real, like the. God. <laughs> Talk to me about the pandemic uh, restaurant scene here in Colorado. Uh, what were the effects like that you saw on both uh, restaurant owners and then the workers as well? You know, I think it was more of a mental stress than anything else. You know, we all survived and got through, but you know, those of us that were fortunate enough to get PPP uh, money that really was used for, we used, you know, use it for what it was meant to be used for. Um, but yeah, it was kind of the day to day and the, the rules changing constantly. It was like super stressful and just not knowing what's going to happen. Overall, you know, we survived it and it's good. We're on the other side now. Uh, what are you anticipating for 2021 summer? Is it summer of love and gluttony and people eating and drinking their faces off? I think you nailed it. June was awesome. I mean, June is through the roof. June's better than, uh, you know, has exceeded our sales in 2019 big time in both places. So, I mean, it's it's good. I mean, we're back, you know, it's just it's just rough with the labor, labor situation. But, you know, we'll, we'll force through it. I mean, we're not running as many specials as Cash Cash, but we still have an awesome team. Um, and same thing at home team, you know, even if we're short staff, a couple guys, you know, we just figure out how to make it work. The 7X now is like 12X. I was I had dinner the other day. I was like, oh, the X's, there's got a couple more X's on here this year. And something we should tell guests, like, guests, take it easy. Like, we just came out of pandemic. The staff is hard to come by. Everybody's getting back in the swing of things. Totally. Behave yourselves, people. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what your mother taught you. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Should not let you film me. We hate your drive. Everyone hates your drive. I try to hit it so hard when the camera's on. I'm like flexing my butt muscles. Glutes, I think those are called. Thanks for showing us the birdies. 